Good morning, it's Friday morning and you'll probably be able to hear the wind here. It's absolutely howling. Now it was a gorgeous day yesterday and somebody did tell me that the weather was going to be horrendous today and I, I actually couldn't believe it. But yeah, I've, I've woken up today to find the wheelie bin blown over. We had brought in the patio furniture cushions, thank God, or I think I would have found them probably in the nearby field. Um, so yesterday I did the video Shows Your Stash 2020 and in it I just made a, a quick mention that I used to do a bit of hat making and I've had a few questions about it so it's um, this is a little snippet of <laughs> show me your hats so you can see my pride and joy there in the background. I've made loads of hats over the years but they've all been just for it's just a complete hobby. I've made a few for friends going to different things and you know they've borrowed the hats and they've brought them back to me and um, I've never done it. I've never done it professionally. I, I would just wouldn't be interested in that to be perfectly honest. There's amazing milliners out there. I just love learning techniques. So you know as a young child I used to love looking at clothes and wondering oh how did they do that? How did they do that? You know as an older adult I'm still fascinated by oh how was that done? How was this done? So and I absolutely love learning from a professional. A professional in their field who knows what they're doing, knows how to answer every question that you ask them and yeah I just absolutely love that. So I've learned from Lena Stein in Westport and I'm a huge girl fan. Absolutely adore Lena. She is amazing. We're so lucky to have her in the country. So I learned from her at the Ennis Creative Arts Centre a few years ago. Just did a few starter courses in cinema. Learned the techniques for um, stiffening and making all the coils in cinema. I'll just show you one little one. So this is a small little hat I made a number of years ago. So it just sits on the head like so. And I learned how to make these little cinema swirls from Lena um, so that they don't they don't go floppy. Oh. And um, we also learned how to make this base. So this base is made on like a little block. Where are they? I thought I, I thought I had them here ready to show. So the this little base is made on this little block and it's buckram stretched and covered and covered in a degree where there's no massive wrinkles around the edge. So um, yeah, that's a lovely little simple one. Now, that's a really little simple one, but that, that takes hours. Now, a lot of the time it takes me hours to actually think of the design and that's the hardest part I find is the actual design, the putting together of the hat then just, I just fly once I come up with the design and every inch of this then is hand stitched, which I really enjoy. I don't, I won't say I like hand stitching when I'm making clothes, but I love hand stitching something like these where I know that not even the slightest smidge of glue has gone near them. Like I absolutely hate looking at professionally made headpieces, say in boutiques, and they're covered in glue. Like if you make a hat, if you make something as beautiful as a headpiece, you just don't use glue. You just don't. It's <laughs> you're just no, sorry, it's just wrong. So um yeah, this headpiece is completely and utterly hand stitched. It's got lovely little elements in it. I love that little thing. That's so cute. And I love the process of um that's the buckram inside. So the buckram and the fabric is stretched over this and this one, this is just one I, I, I tried a couple of years ago, trying a different technique that Lena had shown us. So it's made in such a way that there's there's no wrinkles. So there's a lot of stretching, there's a lot of really pulling and stretching. So it's like when you're easing your sleeves in. So I quite enjoy the process of easing a sleeve in. Um, and getting no wrinkles, which reminds me I have to get back to that shirt dress. <laughs> so yeah, that's that little simple one. So I m inherited a lot of millinery pieces from my grandmother and I, I inherited her hat block. So this is a, this is a crown block. So this makes the crown, obviously, of your head. So this is exactly the same size as mine. Now, when I brought this to the class, Lena thought this was actually quite big. It's a 22 inch um, head, but same size as mine. <laughs> so 
I had done quite a few classes with Lena and learned a lot of techniques before I went to do this one. And this one took part over um, a three day, over three days in Lena's actual studio in Westport, which was lovely. The drive up and down was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I learned so much and I thoroughly, like I just, oh, I, I could have stayed 24 hours in Lena's making this hat. Um, the first day I have to say it was, really interesting but also quite oh, I won't say soul destroying but it was just you know when you're mad to get onto the pretty parts but you have to do all the foundation first so the first day was made up entirely of making this almost like a just a crown for the hat so I brought my own fabric so that's why it's made in these colours which is amazing because I've actually done a few classes over the years where fabrics have been provided and I don't actually even have those hats here because I remember one was black and one was navy and even though the techniques and what I learned at the class was just amazing I just never liked the hats. If they had been pink or orange or red or blue I would have loved them but anyway getting back to this hat. It's quite a heavy hat it's made entirely of buckram and there's a few layers of buckram. It's rock hard. It's actually really comfortable to wear even though it's quite heavy uh, but it's made obviously to my head so it's got elastic to hold it on but I'm just going to shove that up and it goes on like that. So I wore this hat to uh, the Galway races a couple of years ago, I'll stick in one of my glamour photographs when I actually looked neat and tidy with makeup and heels. <laughs> so um, yes, so it's made up of the hat, the crown, the brim. Um, it's entirely hand stitched apart from, I'll tell you where the machine stitching was, which was very, very minimal. So we made the brim, so it's covered on the top which is obviously this shape of a curve. Is that a concave curve? And then, of course, it's covered on the inside. So that's a convex curve. So this was the difficult part in getting that fabric on there without a lot of wrinkling. That was, I remember that being really difficult. And that's entirely hand-stitched. So that's all hand-stitched on. That was hard work. My fingers ached for days after that, <laughs> but so enjoyable. <laughs> We made this brim and now we didn't have the brim fabric. I can't remember what this is actually called. Um, we made this in a cream color because we didn't have the right color. And then we spray painted it in Lena's garden and then hand stitched it on again. It's got a piece of wire just around the edge there to keep it in shape. And then where the brim hits the crown, we made piping. Now this was machine stitched in that the tube was made, the rouleau was made, the piping was put in and then it was hand stitched. So I got to use a machine on that. That was amazing. <laughs> I also made this little twist. So that's made out of like swimwear lycra and there's wire in that. These were a more beautiful limey green colour originally. So they were lovely pop of colour. I really, that was Lena's idea. I loved that. And I also made this flower as well. Now this, I loved making this flower. This was amazing. I'll show you the tools that are needed for this flower. So it's two layers. Um, I had the orangey colour and a pinky. So I'll, I'll just give you a brief little idea of how that was made. So yeah, loads of loads of elements. Three days work went into this hat. So I will always have this hat. This will never be sold, <laughs> never be given away, never dumped. Um, I have actually I have actually sold loads of my other hats that I made over the years, um, just simply because I needed a few euro a few years ago. So I just put them all up on Facebook and sold them. Now I sold them for hardly anything, but I just. Yeah, some of them were quite big and they were taking up a lot of space and there's definitely one of them I'm really sorry for having sold because it was a really really simple hat um, well headpiece and I'm very sorry because it was a beautiful pink silk flower on it I'll pop in a picture if I can find one <laughs> I wasn't instagramming and sort of facebooking at that stage so yeah I love this flower so I will actually put that now in the corner, I think, because it's just been left in my old sewing room. So I will 
pop it here so I can I can admire it. So here is another flower I made. Now I was using Lena's flower making tools at the time. So I actually made this one when I got my own flower making tools and there's a there's a there's a lot of work in one of these but it's just so interesting because you can get you can get it quite realistic so this was just made and just not used i just wanted to make it to see could i make it without the help of lena and in sharp contrast here's another one i made which is really nice as well but i didn't have the tools so it's not as realistic so here's the little tools i bought this kit um, again, I think from eBay, it's still in its box. Um, so yeah, this is it. So for all the world, if you know what a soldering iron looks like, it looks like that. It's plugged in. This gets really hot. And I know that because I burnt my finger with it at one stage. <laughs> and you have all these different tools. Now I've covered them in cling film. Um, so all these different tools are used to, they pop on the end there basically and they get hot, they're brass, they get hot. So I have my little pattern here, actually I was really surprised to find this. It's so great when you find that you haven't actually thrown out everything. So I don't know where this pattern came from, maybe I got this from Lena, I'm not actually quite sure. So it's all made up of different shapes. I'm going to have to revisit this and make one again soon, just to see if I can remember. So I'll have to count how many layers of petals. Sorry, I'm, I'm gabbling. So there you can see one is just made up of three and that would be uh, this one. So I know there's a combination of how many you put together, but basically you cut out two sides and you cut out um, the interfacing, what's it called at all? The one that sticks two layers together. Oh God, can't think of it. Uh, I will think of it. I'll, I'll pop it here when I remember it. So it's sticky on both sides. So it basically sticks the two layers of silk together. And then it's a matter of, and it's very strenuous work. So it's a matter of using, say one of these on it with heat and basically pushing that down into it to make the little shapes. So you're actually, actually, as I do this on the paper, you can see, so it makes the little shapes. Now, this is very easy on paper. It's not as easy on fabric. There's a lot of pushing. So what I did was um, I had a, I had a, a cushion and I, press these down into the cushion. So not onto the ironing board, obviously, into the cushion so they could actually go down into it. And then you use this other tool here to like curl the, curl the edges. So you're trying to make your petals as realistic as possible. So I think I did quite a good job on this. And then if you want, you can kind of, as you've done your little circles down into it, you can stretch them out so they look like leaves as well. This was, this was so interesting. So I, yeah, I devoured, devoured those three days. <laughs> it was so sad to actually, it was so happy to leave with such an amazing hat, but it was actually so sad as well to leave and go, oh, I'm going back to normality now. I've just done three days of just like, learning all of this and there was only actually myself and another lovely lady and Lena so she just does these small tiny little groups so yeah it was do you know Lena is so good actually that it was a two-day course and even though there was only two of us there and Lena um yeah, we just went over and above and Lena brought us back for a third day just so we could finish our hats because she said no I just couldn't imagine you going home with a half-finished hat so I think I, I think I did end up doing the flower as like an, an extra bit. So thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Money well worth spent. You know, I think some of these courses can, can look expensive, but no, I, I would pay, I would pay anything to do courses with brilliant people like Lida. Oh, I've just realized that right in the middle of it, I actually put a pearl. Oh <laughs> God, it's great revisiting these things. A little pearl in the middle. 
so yeah that is um that's a little insight into some of my hats i'm actually quite yeah i am actually quite sad now to find out that um some of them just aren't here so um yeah that one just that one is priceless i mean i learned so much on that and it's it's definitely something i will take out or take up possibly um on another date yeah so yeah i hope you enjoyed that